guys. So we just finished. By the way, you're too close. Can you scoot over a little bit? Okay, it feels better now. You're, you're, this is my dense space. This is your dense space. It's and nobody puts baby in the corner. Because whenever we do a video, I just get up to drink a water. And I guess mm -hmm. my chair just keeps going. Here. Yeah. Okay, so um, on that note, we said we were going to Google to find out the lead singers. And I was right. Yeah. It's Fabio Leone. He's the lead singer for Vision Divine, which is the, the video we did before. He's the lead singer for Rhapsody of Fire in this video. And he's the current lead singer for Angra. So I was right. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to say too much about it because I didn't want to sound like wrong. an idiot. But the voice sounded so familiar, so familiar. Anyways, I was right. And thank God for Google. Imagine back in the day when there was no Google. How the hell did people find out this information? You just look at the back of the... I know, but what about if you don't have the albums? How do you... You ask your friends? Ask a friend. It's like a lifeline. Yeah. Ask a friend. 50-50. All right. So we're here to do Rhapsody of Fire, Dawn of Victory, and this is live. So, first time doing this band on the channel, on this Italian doubleheader with two bands with the same lead singer. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we couldn't have planned this any better. And honestly, we didn't plan this like that. We just, yeah. you know, I just picked this second one because I wanted to do a band from, from Italy. And I think if I had done, I was thinking about doing a different band, I'm going to be honest. But I think if we had done a, a doubleheader from Italy and not including these guys, there would be people out with pitchforks yeah. uh, trying to kill us. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. See if that's him with a mic.
so this is what would happen if Weird Al Yankovic had a metal yeah. band. Okay, now we know. Amazing. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, that was an amazing performance. I, I... His voice is just amazing. His voice is amazing. The new album, he's he's with Unger now, and the new album from Unger is absolutely incredible. It's gonna, To me, it, it's in my top 10 f right now of albums of the year. It was Omni was really incredible, and his vocals in that album were really phenomenal. That's why when we did the other song, uh, is it Vision Divine? Vision yeah. Divine? I, that vocal, it, the, the vocal sounded so familiar, so familiar, you know what I mean? And then, sure enough, same dude. But, but Weird Al Yankovic. Actually, we did a video from Mangra with him singing. Yeah. Uh, I like how we it? didn't notice. War Horns. War Horns. I, I like how we didn't notice that, um, like, earlier. Like, no. I mean, you, you noticed that I didn't notice it. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't notice. But, but you haven't heard as much. Yeah. As I did. Like, I hear a lot of Angra. I, I play their album quite a bit. So I'm more familiar with his vocal range and, and the sound of his voice than you are. Wow. But this performance, that was epic. I, that was epic. You have to give me props, though, on my my um, request. Okay, but we're, we're moving on from your... Like, now I'm not going to be able to live it down. Now you're going to be like every single time. Yeah, but that was my request. That was a great... I know, but we're talking about Rhapsody of Fire now. Which blew me away. Was good was good and this is part of a live dvd so you can watch this whole concert on dvd like this is just one of the songs but i like the fact that it's a small venue it's very intimate yeah. and interactive people were really losing their marbles over the guitar player he was like people are trying to touch his guitar and stuff like that i thought the solos in that song were, were the, when you see the two guitar players next to each other pulling off that solo i thought that was just absolutely incredible the keyboard once again the keyboard in this song it adds so much yeah. melody. He has a beautiful voice. That, to me, that cla it's like a classical melody. Yeah, it, it didn't sound like your 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 synthesizer kind yeah. of playing. It sounded more like almost like a classic piano playing, even though it's not a classic piano. It's just it's yeah. your regular keyboard. But it did it did have that more um, traditional sound to it. But it added so much melody to yeah. it. Yeah, and I like these 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 songs because it's power metal. It's just like so. Fast paced, but then when you add that keyboard, it adds so much melody into it. It makes such a, such a cool song, and his voice is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Even though he, every time I see him singing, every time I see like one of his performances, immediately, immediately I think Weird of Al. Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. Which, by the way, we saw Weird Al Yankovic live. We went yeah. to one of his concerts. He didn't do any of these songs. I wish he did. I know he did. I'm fat, you know, like a surgeon. Remember? Friend dirty. Oh <laughs> Amish's Amish Paradise. Yeah. Yeah. That's stories for another video. Anyways, that was a cool concert, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should wear uh, the shirt. Probably doesn't fit you anymore. That was like long time ago. Long, maybe. long time ago. Yeah. Like the, what? Like maybe seven, eight years ago, we went to see him. All right. Anyways, guys, this is it for today for this double header. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as he did and I did. I really enjoyed it. A really it was really, it was a really cool double header. Uh, and it was a cool surprise because we didn't plan for the same two bands with yeah. the same singer. So we didn't plan for that and it kind of just worked out. So that's really cool. All right, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See you guys.